All right. I've had a couple people um, curious about how I keep some of my uh, species of cockroach. Um, I'm going to go through a couple of the feeder species I have and then some of the more exotic and pet species in another video. So let's start out with the uh, Shelfordella lateralis or Bleda lateralis, um, Rusty Reds, Red Racers, Turkestan Roach. Uh, they go by a whole mess of different names. Uh, but these are your probably one of your more common feeder roaches. They're really prolific. They are relatively small, so they're good for a whole menagerie of different insects uh, or arachnids and uh, different lizards and other things that you feed them to. Um, I keep mine in just a glass aquarium here. You can see it's, uh, there's no Vaseline on the top. They can't climb. I don't have to worry about them getting out. Um, and on the top, it's just a screened lid with metallic, uh, this is like a plumbing, metal plumbing tape. And that really lets you kind of get to every little crack and nook and cranny. And it really, it bonds to the, the screen, you know, relatively well. And it also acts as kind of a glue trap in case anything tries to get in or get out. Uh, it stops them. Like this is an ant that tried to get in here. And ants are pretty bad for colonies. They will destroy your colony. Um... You know, a giant colony of ants get into your cockroaches. Your cockroaches are essentially defenseless. So you definitely want to avoid ants getting into your colony. Anyway, these are my lateralis. And right now my colony is relatively small. Um, I cleaned out uh, all the egg cases that were in here. There's a couple new ones laid. And the adults, like you can see this uh, is an adult male right, well, right here. If I can get them, they're pretty fast. There we go. And uh, they're the ones with the wings. Uh, the females don't have wings. And people say these guys can fly. I've never seen them fly. I've never had them try to fly. Um, they can flutter, and that's the best I can tell. But my, uh, here's a female. You can see they have the, the wing pads instead of the wings. But anyway, the... Uh, They'll breed really, really fast, and you'll get a whole bunch of babies in here. But what I did was I fed off all my adults. Um, so most of the egg cases that hatched, they were all, you know, really small nymphs. I had no adults, so I had to wait for the next generation to grow up. Finally have some adults again, so now they're going to breed, lay more egg cases, and their uh, numbers are going to increase again. Um, I started with about 150 last year. I got up to about 5,000 or so uh, within a couple months' time, and then I reduced the colony back down to just a couple hundred. But these are uh, actually receipt tape um, spools. You can kind of see that they like to hide inside of these. You know, and I get these from, from work. They're, they're free. We throw them out. So I take them. It's kind of a non-reactive plastic, food safe. Um, so it doesn't bother the roaches at all. It doesn't give any kind of chemicals or anything like that. And they're really easy to feed from, too, because, you know, if you shake it in your hand like that, you can feel on either side there's you know roaches in there and then when you go over to your feeder tank you just shake them out and you know then your whatever animal you're feeding is pretty happy but you can see inside of there's those little tiny spots that's for the small nymphs and then the inside of the large spots for the the adults and the larger nymphs and they just love these things um you know they're, each one of these has probably about three or four roaches in or more and once that colony gets larger the bottom ones will have literally thousands of first instar nymphs um, the egg cases, you know, they hatch out, um, what seems like it takes for a while when you're first raising these guys, but this one is an old case, it's, uh, desiccated, you kind of see it's a little crunchy, oh no, it actually, it had hatched out, there's nothing in there, so this, uh, Ritheca or egg case, you know, this would be sitting in the bottom of the tank here in this cocoa fiber substrate, and I like to use substrate because it reduces the smell. Lateralis is are they're known for having a little bit of a smell compared to most other feeder roaches. So I keep a substrate on here. I mist them, you know, once or twice a week. And that uh, that tape that's on the top of the screen that also kind of helps hold the moisture in. And then I'll feed them apples and dog food. And I have these little containers over here, and you know, put that in there. I don't give them water gel anymore. Um, I used to put water gel in all of my tanks. I haven't put water gel in my tanks for probably about eight months, and I've never had problems with desiccation just because I missed about twice a week or so and give them fruits to eat as, uh, with the dog food. 
that gives them plenty of moisture. I never have any problems. And also the ones that are more the tropical ones that would desiccate from that kind of environment, I keep them in a completely sealed container. That way they, uh, they don't dry out on me. So that's how I keep my lats. Uh, I'm going to go on to the next common feeder, and that's the lobster roaches.